Look, it seems as though the market is saying global economies are slowing down. Energy's got to be a, um, obviously, it's going to feel some pain. That happened in the underlying commodity. And in terms of the equities, they're selling first, asking questions later. I don't think the energy trade is over. That's clearly wrong today. Um, I still think there's a supply-demand imbalance, and I still think these companies are extraordinarily well-run and probably, uh, in terms of balance sheets, the best they've ever been. But today's not the day to be talking that side of the book. And as someone that's also been very bullish on the energy sector, I think some of those dynamics stay very much the same. I, I think you have to think about um, what's the dollar done. So every 1% move in the dollar is a 3% move in the oil price, or so we've seen over the years. So if you think about the move we've had in the dollar, but it's not just the dollar move. Um, and, and I've been getting some data from, from you know, people like uh, UBS, and I see some of this from, from Bank of America. CTAs, uh, commodity trading accounts, have been massive sellers of commodities over the last couple of days. Look at the resource stocks. Look at steel stocks down 10 percent across the board today. Some of this has been a group trade. Some of this has been repositioning. Um, I, I guess I would just say this on the price of crude. Um, do we all think universally that there's going to be a, a deep recession? Because because if you do, then crude is doing what it's doing on the demand side. But um, that's not anybody's base case, or at least the people that we talk to. Um, and I know Steve's been certainly cautious on the price of oil. And I, I, I think there's a lot of things that play into it. But right now, this is not a demand story. Okay.